what's going on? It's your man, Cinnamon Throat, Greg Selko, Carmelo Fonder. I'm here with one of my good boys, Gregor Hagelin, straight off the streets of Sweden, founder of the empire that we now know as WSC. How you doing, Gregor? I think that's fine. How are you? I'm good. So people know the legend. They know the legend of Gregor. I want to get to know the man. So tell us a little bit about yourself, how you started growing up in an orphanage in Sweden, that type of thing. Back in 82, I came here to like skateboard with all my skateboard friends and uh, start to know all those American skateboard guys from the 80s. And uh, those guys around. That was, that were run that was yeah, a bad those guys, influence right then. Yeah, and those guys are running the industry today. So, Greg, that's interesting. You were, you're here in the 70s, early 80s. That's the first time you came over yeah, here. Like I came over here the first time. 1948? Back, back, back in 1948. I was here as a movie star back then, but it was like I came here like 1982. I was 17 back then. Tell me a little bit, what was L.A. like? How has it changed? Who, tell me about the scene, who you were hanging out with. I know you just said you, you knew some legends. Who were they? Like back then, you know, I came here to the airport. I was like, I want to go to L.A. That was the thing. And uh, I remember I was flying in over L.A. I was like, I can die right now. I've been, I've been doing everything. And then I, of course, arrived and I came Is out. everything to... you've been doing, drugs? Or... <laughs> no, it's like, it was, it was like everything just die. coming here back then. So it's like, and... I remember there was no like mobile uh, telephones or internet, so I was like, yeah, let's go to the beach. And the taxi driver said like, yeah, we have about 20 beaches around here, so where to go? And I was like, mention a few. And he started mentioning every, all the beaches. He came to Hermosa Beach, and I was like, oh, that sounds good. So he took me down there, and like after five minutes, I met Mike Smith and Fletcher from Pennywise. All those guys became my good friends, and I stayed there for three years, just skateboarding with all the dudes from down there and all around. like the, we're a group of people that went to all the like skateboard contests, skateboard demos, and like uh, skateboard with Christian Oxlade, Tony Hawk, all those guys back then. You were known as the drunken Swede, if I remember correctly. Uh, probably yes. The thing was like uh, we were a lot of skateboard hanging, hanging out, and a lot of my skateboard friends were like models in Paris. They did start own, start doing all their own brands. They worked for Diesel, and, like. So it was like that community that I hang out with. You know, it's like you're gonna see skateboarders, so those fashion skateboarders, and you'll see those like boring skateboarders, just followers. And uh, and we decided we want to do something else. I didn't really care what other people thought. We had a great idea, and uh, and we had to, and we decided to work towards that great idea. You have plans for more stores? What was it like opening a store here in LA? Uh, when we started to. When we decided to go with We See the United States, like it was about three years ago, we opened up this store. And back then, it was Robertson and still is Fashion Street. People said we should be up on Fairfax for all the streetwear brands, but I think we're, we're a street fashion company. We probably belong here more than up there. Our culture belongs there, but as a store, the products we show. And uh, it's a great location. We have a store in New York as well. And um, right now, we don't plan to open up more stores in the United States. The reason why we have a store here and in New York, we want to show the brand, show the concept in a good way. And But the number one priority is build their distribution with stores like Carmelo, which is like that. the best guys in the United States for our brand. They've been helping us build their brand. Right there, you heard from Gregor. Yeah, and uh, distribution is key. How do we see innovator? I won't say Renaissance man. I know you were looking for that. But uh, you are a renaissance man. Thanks a lot, Greg. But, but I can't use that again. Good to see you. Hope to see you in Sweden again. Swedish erotica rules.